Right, guys, it's time for part two of our prediction shows this week. Sam, it is now time for Shrewsbury versus Man United. Just so you know, guys, I'm here with Robbie from Muscle Fan TV, Eunice from 100% Chelsea, and of course, Sam from United People's TV. Yeah. Looking forward to this one. You're getting some all right draws, aren't you? I, to be fair, like, up until a couple of years ago, we had some terrible... We always drew Premier League opposition in every one, and we didn't win it. And now we're drawing lower league opposition, and we're still not winning it. But you look at this on paper, 19th in League One, United flying high in fifth, or wherever we are, not top four. How are United not going to win this? But I've said that so many times this season on yeah. di at different occasions. Fl uh, flashback to last week where we said that Man United have never Every walked away. Every single person <laughs> here was like, yeah, United yeah. have turned the corner. Man United have never walked away from the Stadium of Light without... Uh, that's what, that's league what league United defeat. do. United turn the corner and then get knocked yeah. over. That's all, all we're doing right now is just one step forward, two steps back. And Shrewsbury could be another potential banana skin. Yeah, uh, one person you won't have in your team is Rooney. You have said on record that Rooney needs to go. So you're delighted with this? No, I'm not delighted with that. Right? Rooney absolutely deserved criticism up until the start of 2016. Up until that point, I think he scored like six goals. He's meant to be your talisman, your captain, your leader. He was crap. But then, isn't uh, that a bit short-termism? No, like no, no, it's not short-termism because you've seen that Rooney's been on the down low for going down for about three years. Like, it's not just overnight his form's gone out the window. Okay, so, so what's your point then? My point is that United are really, really going to miss Rooney. Because, <laughs> because he went, he, listen, you wanted him to go. You wanted him to go. You wanted him to go. Let him finish his point. Go on. Rooney, is still, I still want Rooney to go in the summer. I, still, I think Rooney's time, you know, he's served the club well, but I think he's probably going to go back to Everton. I've, I've said that lots, and I think it might change if Mourinho comes in because Mourinho's always wanted Rooney. Yep. So that will change the dynamic. I didn't think that Van Hal was going to get sacked a few months ago. But Rooney, since 2016, he's turned a script. Ever since he got dropped against Stoke, and I think at the end of December, he's turned it. And that's what happens with Rooney. When you let him get complacent and you let him get in the team, no matter how crap he's playing, <laughs> Rooney, dis Rooney disappears. <laughs> now you, you, you take the carpet from under his feet and you force him back to play, he starts playing again. And then he gets injured. It's just typical. You said you wanted Rooney to go. Yeah. Right? Now you want him to stay. He's the best player in the team. Who said you that? said you wanted Van Gaal out, then you're there taking oh, pictures. Exactly <laughs> All right, oh, Louis, taking pictures behind him and stuff Look, like right, that. It, make your mind up, man. Look, what right. do you want? Let's talk about the game. <laughs> no, they're making me sound like a schizophrenic. I know exactly what I want. Okay. Just want him at the end of the season, but you want him fit up until then scoring goals. Of course you That's do. That's a fair request. No, yeah, you know what? To be fair, I mean, I'm kind of, you know, glad that he's going to be missing like when we played him. I mean, it ruins. Yeah. Rooney has turned the corner and he has been... Do you think he's the fact that he's been awesome. him, um, would mean that there could be a, a shock here? They've never played each other before. No, no <laughs> shocks, no, no, no they way. They don't understand their style of play. There's, there's Shrewsbury. absolutely Shrewsbury. no yeah. way Shrewsbury are going to beat Manchester United. No, you never know, though. No way. No, no chance. chance. Even absolutely home, no chance. They've even beat Cardiff and Sheffield. Even so on, the moon, if if on the moon, on the moon, they just—they're not going to beat Manchester United. I can't see that. I mean, you remember MK Dons beat that? Yeah, but uh, that was you a bit different. I think that was a bit different. Um, it, 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 number one, I think MK Dons were in a higher league than Shrewsbury at that time, and plus as well, United sent a lot of kids to that game. For that game, that's that's one of the things that Manchester United can win this season, and I, I, and I've seen that in in years gone by with Arsenal, that, you know, if you're not going to, got no chance of winning the league, try and win an FA Cup or something like that. And yeah. I, I just give Shrewsbury no chance, I'm afraid. Big problem for United, though, is saying that, we, you know, he's not going to send the kids there. We've got 13 first-team injuries, and our team was already thin to start with because that was Van Hal's strategy, is he likes working with smaller squads, so he brings in the youth. Like, the youth is our team now. Like, we've got so But they, those youth are doing all right, though, aren't they? I mean, Lingards and people like that. Orford they, Jackson. Orford Jackson. Orford Jackson. Orford Jackson. Um, but then you get, on the other hand, you know, McNair, you've got Blackie. You've got a lot of players that he's brought through for the sake of bringing through. And some of them have I still think that, that even those kids will be good enough to beat Shrewsbury. Come they on. Should they should be. Yeah. If, if you don't win this, he's got to give his P45 the next morning, surely. Moving on to the glamour tie of the fifth round of the FA Cup, Chelsea versus Man City. Now, Eunice, the PSG game, were there positives there that you feel like you can take into this next game? Yeah, big time, big time. I think um, with Chelsea, nowadays is if we go in as the underdog, we have that, that ability to play and to just go out there because we've got nothing to lose. And I think that's what happened at PSG. Everyone was um, writing PSG to new enough batter us or you know at least get a decent win they didn't we got the away goal 
good performance. And um, I think against Man City, we can we can take ourselves forward and, and use that. So you prefer being the underdog? Big time. Big time. It, that's, the, that's how we won the Champions League. Every single game, um, we were the underdog. Yeah. And um, no, we no, went and did it. That's so. a difficult thing to be the underdog <laughs> all the time and have success. That's going to be... That's yeah. 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 It's not yeah. going to work. What's a weird one about this game is you've got Chelsea who played midweek, so they might be a little bit jaded when it comes to the weekend. And then you've got Man City who are playing uh, Kiev next week, which is a huge game for them. So what kind of lineups can we expect in this game? I, I, it's really hard to do. It I is. mean, Chelsea, obviously, I think they'll go strong. Why not? I yeah. mean, they haven't got uh, another game until um, the following weekend. Uh, you know, they, it's a cup again, something that they can piece of silver. Do you think that, that matters that midweek game, though, or should they have recovered by then? Because you've got uh, a Chelsea winner. Yeah, I, I, I think they should have recovered by then because they, you know, it's played on Tuesday. The game's on Sunday, so that's given yeah. them enough recovery time. Yeah, should have. Uh, so I, I, I think Chelsea will go with a very strong team. I think City will obviously maybe have to think about maybe resting a couple of players because that is a massive game they've got. Um, it's away from home as well. Mm. Um, long trip to uh, Ukraine, so I, 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 I fancy Chelsea in this game, I really do, I, f I agree, I thought they played pretty well against PSG, um, and you know, they could even have got a draw out of the game, if I think Courtois made for me, he should have saved that at the end, so I, I, I think Chelsea have turned a the corner, they smashed Newcastle on their last game, I mean obviously City are not Newcastle, but they, you know, they're on a good little run of form, and I, I think Chelsea win that game. If you're Pellegrini, do you play Aguero in this game? I think even if you don't it's play, tricky, isn't it? if you looked at the start of the season, you asked us four who had the strongest squad going into the league, you probably would have said City. So yes, they're going to have to rest a few players, but they've got enough strength in depth. Yeah, De Bruyne injury has limited that somewhat, but they should have enough around that team to put out a, 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 an eleven which, so which you, rivals so Chelsea. So you drop you drop Aguero for this game. Oh, oh I would. I think they're going to have. I think they'll have to leave Aguero out of this game. I don't think you, can you, risk you can't him. afford to risk Aguero with, with that game coming up during the week. And they said Imanachi, oh, he's done pretty well when he's, he's done. He has, yeah. Um, you know, they've got enough for me. City firepower wise, they're always all right. It's the defending, the way in which I saw Spurs just walked him through their midfield and defence last week. That's yeah. got to be the worry for them, but. Up front, they've, they've always got, I feel, enough firepower, but I, I just fancy Chelsea in this game. And um, Pellegrini also showed that he is a bit worried, to be fair, because he complained about the schedule of this game and the FA Cup, having to play this, then travel out to Ukraine straight away, and then play that game straight away after that. So, to be fair, I City think aren't used to Champions League knockouts, so this is, this is foreign territory for them. Exactly. So um, I think they'll be vulnerable. I think we can exploit that. I think the reason he's annoyed about that is the draw. If you get Shrewsbury, then you can drop Aguero, you're probably okay. Yeah. The fact that they've got Chelsea is, is a really Imagine difficult Imagine being annoyed at a random draw, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pellegrini, this is what a draw is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, you know the rules at the start. Uh, Watford versus Leeds. Cup set, cup set? No? Nah. Uh, we've all gone for Watford. Uh, which kind of ruins it a little bit. Uh, you've got Leeds who are uh, sort of mid-table and the championship. Again, these kind of upsets do happen with this mid, these mid-table teams. Mm. Like Blackburn, like Reading. The only thing with Leeds, they'll bring a massive support, won't they? I mean, they are really a Premier League club yeah. in a lower division, so they'll have a massive support. And maybe that might be able to sort of spur them on a bit, but I, I just think again, Watford they're going to go strong. What a great opportunity go for Watford team. to really go far yeah. in this competition. Yeah. They can they can win this, don't they? Of course they could. They're a Premier League team. Any team can win it, as you saw the, a few years ago when when Wigan won it. So I just can't see anything. Leeds are Leeds are just well, the Leeds now. Like ever since <laughs> ever since they went out of the Premier League, they've just completely dropped away, and their their club behind the scenes is in such turmoil that it must really affect on the pitch and, and how the club is actually going. Yeah, I mean, got a good draw against Middlesbrough at the start of the week, uh, but this is a really tough one. And Watford, you know, they're going to play the best team and uh, a good team at that. And I think actually the way that Watford play actually suits playing against the championship side. It won't and, give and, them and, and they'll know Leeds as well, won't they? Mm. Exactly, yeah. yeah. The final game of uh, this week's show and the final Skype roadshow <laughs> contestant, that's the wrong word probably, guest is <laughs> Mr. Ped from Toffee TV. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Hello. Good afternoon. So the game we're going to be talking about is this could be a thriller. Uh, Ever uh, Bournemouth versus Everton. Um, as an Everton fan uh, who had to go through that game in the Premier League, 3-3, all those goals right at the end, what kind of mental mindset, mental health 
uh, do uh, Everton fans have going into this game, mate? Um, do you know what? That's just a typical Everton game this season, so it's not it's not really anything to 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 to, to shout about. It was probably one of the first ones, but um, where we we sort of threw a, a game away. But this and this is a massive game for Everton come come Saturday because the whole season is suddenly is suddenly hinging on this game. So um, Everton have got to learn from that. You know they haven't learned much from that, but they've got to learn from that and go down there and do it. A much better job, and you know, until until last weekend, results had started to turn. So, um, you've got to take you've got to take positive positives from that. Hey, Peds, make sure yeah, if you go a goal up, don't go running onto the pitch. Yeah, wait this time till the whistle. Right, not like last time we all went flooding onto the pitch. Oh, sorry, we're not allowed to celebrate last minute goals at Arsenal. No. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? We celebrated the last minute goal when we actually won. Well, that's all well and good when the whistle, when the whistle gets blown, but you know in the yeah, head exactly head. when the whistle gets blown. You <laughs> lot, you lot were celebrating that, running all onto the pitch and that, thinking you've won the game already. That's football, Rob. Take that away. <laughs> you're, left with, you're left with Arsenal. That's what you're left with. Uh, so Martinez said today that if you don't win the FA Cup, that doesn't mean uh, the season's sort of over. You don't need to win the FA Cup to save the season. Do you agree with that? No, he's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> he's a liar and I think he's misjudged the whole of the fan base if he thinks that um, of course you've got to of course Everton have got to try and win a trophy and if the season you know peters out without one then it is a failure and if he thinks it's not then I'm afraid he's the manager of the, of, uh, of the wrong club but as fans we expect trophies we are still the fourth biggest club in this country that mightn't be on us for too much longer if we continue but as fans we have Big expectation. Personally, I think we're eleven, you know, ten places too too low in the Premier League. I'm an Everton fan. I think we should be top of the league. So, looking at the game itself, how do you see it working out? I'm quite confident, to be honest. I think you know, you look at the last couple of Bournemouth games. They after the the window, they they bought quite well, and they've gone on a you know gone on and um, won a, a couple of good games. Bournemouth, uh, beating Norwich at home, beating Palace away. Um, but the last couple of games, certainly at home, Arsenal and Stoke, they look like they've dipped a little bit and I'm just hoping that continues on Saturday. And I think we've got to go there and get in the faces straight away. So finally, score prediction. What's it going to be? Um, I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Everton. There you go. Well, uh, good luck, mate. And uh, yeah, it's not, it's not all bad. Keep smiling. Well, we're not QPR. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got nothing to come back with that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do the outro? <laughs> uh, so that was the weekend of this week. Uh, thanks to Ped, all the guys uh, as well. If you like the video, then make sure you like it. If you subscribe to Ball Street, we'd be very happy about that. And if you'd like to give us your comments and your predictions in the comments below, that would be great as well, wouldn't it? Brilliant. Get in the comments. We'll see you next time. Uh, so would you take him? Would you, would you want uh, him? Of course you take him in a heartbeat. He's the sort of player that from a United brand perspective, they'll be like, they were all over that like a wet fish. Uh, and from United fans' perspective, we need goal scorers.